Now, I'm going to uh, talk to you about uh, the final thing is the child theme and how powerful a child theme can be. So here I'm showing you a, a canvas theme, which we use quite a lot. Basically, it's a very basic theme that does really nothing, but you can build on top of it through your child theme and make it look how you want it to look. So let's assume you've got a website set up with just a bunch of content. This is how Canvas looks out of the box. So pretty uninspiring looking wise, the fonts are nice and all that sort of stuff and you can see the main menu and things like that. Now what we did is we took this theme and we created a child theme and made a massive changes to it to present a theme the way the client wanted to present it. And I'll present to you um, the Monday Morning Cooking Club using this theme. So this is how it looked and this is what we turned it into. Okay, so we turned it into something that's really clean presented, we, the, the client loved this type of font, so we, we, we in the theme options we were able to create that font. So you can see we're, we're, we were able to create a theme that, that exactly the way the client wanted it with modifications. And because this theme gets upgraded every single month, at least twice a month, we can upgrade the main theme at any one time and it does not affect what we've created on the back end. Okay, so we can create you know, we can lay out the, the recipes the way we want them to, to lay out. We can do everything we want, but we're never touching the main theme. We're always doing our edits in the child theme. And another reason for doing that is sometimes you want to sack your web designer or developer. And by doing that, if all the edits are done in, in, in a separate folder, which is called the child theme, you, your new developer you can say, look, all the changes that have been made from the original theme are in the child theme in this folder and away the new developer goes, okay? So it's really important. There's, there's, not, there's not one client co uh, company that comes to me for, for help with their website and wanting a new website or wanting to adjust their current website. They always have edited the theme they've purchased, which is always the worst thing you could possibly do. Because basically, you, for, for us as a development company, we've got to go in there and find out exactly what files they've edited. And we can, the only way we can do that is to to actually go into the files, and that that would probably add at least one or two thousand dollars of development time just finding all the all the mistakes the previous developer had made. Okay, so always, always use a child theme if you're going to make any customizations to the initial theme that you purchased.